Look how juicy it is. It's completely cooked. Wow. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Living Flavors with Sunita. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make alfaham chicken using a whole chicken. You can also replace this old chicken and use uh, small chicken pieces that you would prefer. Come on, let's get started. To make alfaham chicken, I have taken a whole chicken here. I have just cut the spine of the chicken and I have butterflied it. So this is how it looks. I have also made some slits here so that the marination can get inside the flesh well. There are two marinades for this chicken. For the first marination, I have taken around half a cup of thick curd. To this, I am going to add one teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of pepper powder. Mix all these well. I am going to pour this over our chicken, rub it well and then marinate this for at least 30 minutes. That's it. Now let this rest for 30 minutes. For the second marination, we have to dry roast few ingredients. And for that, to a cast iron pan, I'm going to add 3 teaspoons of coriander seeds, 3 red chilies, 4 cloves, 3 cardamom, 1 small piece of cinnamon stick, half bay leaf, half a teaspoon of cumin seeds, half a teaspoon of fennel seeds. Roast them on medium flame for just 1 to 2 minutes. Now this is ready. Let's transfer this to a mixer jar. Instead of this, you can also use the regular red chilli powder, coriander powder and the garam masala. But roasting it fresh and adding it to the recipe gives a unique flavor. So let's add this to the mixer jar. Along with this, I am going to add half onion which I have roughly sliced. Half tomato. Two green chillies. Some coriander leaves, 8 to 10 mint leaves, juice of half a lime, 1 tablespoon of ginger garlic paste, 1 teaspoon of salt, 1 tablespoon of oil. So let's grind this into a smooth paste. Now the second marinade is ready. I'm going to apply this to the whole chicken. Now I am going to cover this with a cling wrap and let it marinate for at least 3 to 4 hours. I am going to place this inside my preheated oven for 30 minutes. It has been exactly 30 minutes. I am going to remove it from the oven, flip it and then keep it again for 20 minutes. Before I flip it, I am just going to apply some butter so that it doesn't dry. And just cut the tip off before I store it back again in the fridge. Let's flip it gently. I am going to bake this again for 25 to 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, this is how it looks. So it's completely ready. It smells amazing. Look how juicy it is. It's completely cooked. Wow. It's cooked perfectly. Mm. Too good. It's so juicy and tender. I can definitely say the fresh masalas that we have added given a very good taste. You can serve this along with chapati, biryani or even with pulavs. 
it's a wonderful side dish do give this a try and let me know how it turned out for you guys in the comment section below and if you like this video do give a huge thumbs up and support me it really means a lot to me see you guys next time with another interesting recipe or another interesting concept until then take care bye